Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you Rago's update. It has been a whole year, in fact more than a year now, since I first met Rago. I'll include the video up here and in the links below to Rago's origin story. <laughs> it's like a superhero, his origin story. But basically just detailing, you know, where he came from, why he is the way he is, that sort of thing. It actually was my first video to ever go like semi-viral. It um in the first week got 50,000 views. I was surprised, I tell you what, I was surprised. But yeah, I figured because everybody loves Rego so much and because he's just a lovely baby, I will share some updates. There are some good and some bad, so please keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to say this before I actually do anything. I always forget, but please subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna post a size comparison first just so you guys can see how much he's grown. So this little white bowl you see in the picture is his food bowl. And so I wanted to use that for reference because I don't have any of him like in my hand or anything to compare to from back then. So this white bowl can show you how much bigger he actually is. And that is his full grown size. And he will not be getting any bigger, like he will not get longer and he will not get taller, like he's going to be that size. He might put a little bit more weight on, but he will be that size for the rest of his life. And that size, by the way, is equivalent to Theon when he was three months old. So he is the size of a three month old gecko and always will be. So back about six months ago, maybe a bit longer than six months ago, Rago had an exposed hemipene, which if you don't know what a hemipene is, Leopard geckos have two hemipenes. There's one on each side, and Rago's. Well, I'm, when I'm looking at it, it's the right. So is it his left? No, it'd be his right, because I was looking at him. Yeah, so Rago's right hemipene was exposed. Prior to this vet visit, I did have issues with him having sperm plugs, which was really alarming to me because he was, in my mind, so young. We'll get there in a minute. That I didn't think he could have sperm plugs and in fact the only geckos I've ever had that have sperm plugs have been like really big robust full-grown older males and he is not one of those but yes he had sperm plugs and his sperm plugs are so tiny like I'm talking like this big in between my fingers that little tiny space and he would get them like every couple of weeks like literally every couple of weeks and it started like I say like a month or two before his vet trip and I was just like cleaning them out every single time I'd noticed them so like I would check probably every other feeding or so um just to be sure and when he had them I would remove them with my teeny tiny fingernails because it, the, none of the tweezers were small enough to get it like it was so tiny like you don't even understand how small it was I think I might have a picture of one just to share how small it is but I'll have to find it so super tiny and it only occurs on one side the other one I don't think has ever had any which would be his left hemipene so his right hemipene does have sperm plugs oh and what are sperm plugs it's basically just an accumulation of like well sperm <laughs> and also like tissue and things like that that just makes this little plug and it's like a little kind of twisted curly hard thing and you just pull it right out of course you want to be gentle when you do that even though i had cleaned his out many a time one of the times after he shed he must have tried to get one himself maybe i don't know what happened but his hemipene popped out and i tried soaking him and coaxing it back in i couldn't get it to go back in and I made a vet appointment, but my vet, usually it takes like two to three weeks to see her. So I had to wait all that time. And I had to literally like keep a, a moist paper towel in his enclosure, like um, pretty much all times just so that it would stay moist. I'd have to like soak him in water twice a day just to see if I could get it to go back in. Literally could not get it in. Took him to the vet. She got it in in five minutes. I never felt so helpless in my life. I was like, what? She got it back in, fortunately, but she said it looked like it would pop out again. And she said that she suspected it would pop out within that week. And so we scheduled him on the following Wednesday to have surgery, which is very simple for a hemipene. You just take a little tie, she said, and you tie off the hemipene. So you just say this is the exposed part. You just put a tie around this part, cut off the blood flow to it, and then snip it and then the rest that's inside stays inside and the exposed part is gone. Now, the reason you don't wanna have an exposed part 
is because it can dry out and it can die and it can cause infection and it can just be really bad for the health of your gecko. So if there is an exposed hemipene, you want to try and coax it back in or you want to have it removed. It can't just stay the way it is. But I'm happy to report that the hemipene never popped back out to this day, still hasn't, fingers crossed it stays that way, but he still does get sperm plugs in that one hemipene and I've had to remove many of them but lately he hasn't had one and i think that's because breeding season is coming to an end so i think he started breeding season um like for himself probably towards the end of the year last year so 2019 and then probably about a month ago he stopped producing them so that was his breeding season and we think that he decided that he needed to breed this season because he's actually well over a year old coming to you from a voiceover so i can clarify so basically when i went to the vet on december 5th she had said she thought he was well over a year old at that time because he was already you know producing sperm plugs and he had obvious femoral pores and he was quite obviously a male and obviously it can be confusing because of how small he was but she said based on what she was seeing when she looked at his hemipenes she said he was over a year old and that was in december now i got him in may and he actually started producing plugs in like september or so because it was a couple months before his appointment that he started producing them so if we're gonna look at that then he might have been closer to a year old just a few months after i got him it's kind of like crazy for my mind to wrap around that fact so i got him in may and then in september he had sperm plugs and then in december he had to have um, his hemipene put back in place at the vet and then now it's been a whole year later obviously a little bit over a year because it's june now but yeah just thinking about the fact that like he might have already been close to a year when i got him is just absurd like i that's insane I'll obviously have no way of knowing how old he really is because he was sold at an expo with no information on the deli cup, not his age, not his morph or anything like that, which I understand not putting his morph on there because the person did not want him to be sold as a breeder, um, but that's a whole long story that I talked about in his origin story video. Um, but yeah, just the, the, the idea that I'll never get to know like what, how old he actually is, like it does bother me a little bit, but not too much. But it is good to know, like when the vet said his hemipene appeared, like he would be over a year old at this point. It's good to know. That way I can look out for other things that's typical in, in full-grown leopard geckos. And that way I know he's pretty much done growing. Like this is as big as Rago's gonna get. This also makes Rago the smallest gecko I own and probably forever will be the smallest gecko I own. Like even beyond just leopard geckos, he is the smallest gecko that I own. He's tiny he's like so small the vet also confirmed that well when she first saw him she had a very strong reaction to the fact that like him not having any eyes and him having the double cleft nostrils like she sat down and took a good look at him for a while she said she he's probably completely blind in both eyes which wouldn't surprise me um if if he doesn't uh if he's not completely blind he might only see brief shadows but yeah he's he's blind and obviously that doesn't come as a surprise to me considering his eyes are like so tiny and non-existent. But other than that, he's good. So the the down the downsides, the negative updates have been that he's had consistent sperm plugs, that he's a lot older than we initially thought, that he's done growing and he's stunted, which we expected, um, but he's really small. And also that he is completely blind. Well, pretty much what we think is completely blind. And we already expected that so it's not really a surprise but i just figured you know it's it's a bummer you know for him to be completely blind but it's also okay because he's doing great and here's the positive updates rego does really well in his upgraded enclosures i probably posted a video i did post a video about it I'll, I'll link it up here but i introduced rego to a gecko bookshelf so that he had an actual enclosure with enrichment after he was done his quarantine period which was quite a bit longer than it normally would have quarantined a gecko for but he got to have a 15 gallon equivalent shelf in the gecko bookshelf and he got to have enrichment and he got to have decor and he got to have stuff to climb on and he's done great with all of that like he doesn't even seem like he's blind the way he moves around which is really great so he's doing great in his enclosure upgrade i'm also happy to report he doesn't have any issues with stuck shed none at all 
so that's good. He's pretty decent when it comes to handling, especially since <laughs> I have to handle him every so often anyway to check for sperm plugs, but he's pretty decent about it. Like, he doesn't fight me on it, he doesn't bite, he doesn't, like, squeak or shriek, he's not flighty. He's pretty good about it, which is surprising because he's blind, so it's stressful. And lastly, he has a great appetite and he's really good at aiming. And I think that's just because we've worked together, him and I, to like establish this. Okay, I'm going to put the food right here. All you got to do is open your mouth and catch it. So he's really great at aiming and he's really great at eating. So that is really all I have to say about Rago. I want to include some clips of him throughout this. And also if I have more, I'll include them here at the end. But he's just like the most precious angel baby that ever lived. Like he is, he's so lovely and I'm so happy to have him. And he's just an, he's just a joy. Like he's just a, he's just a wonderful joy. And I hope I get to have him for a very very long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.